And we're back again with another monthly account update. You may notice something different with Pillbow. That's right, he got a level 50 weapon. No longer does he have to use that extremely crappy spiked menace. Now we got a mighty Pharaoh's bow. And when World 5 comes out, he might get a Blizzard bow. Who knows? Actually, it wasn't that expensive, so he might get one earlier. We shall see. However, apart from his weapon, he has not done much. He bored out his net to the Maestro Man. And he also made his way to the Oinkin quest here. Now we only have the croissant left for the ladle stamp, cooking a ladle, and pet egg. Every character have made their way to Oinkin. Everyone except one. The Maestro Man, he used to fish before. Now he's doing some bug catching. After he's done with that, he will try to make his way through World 4 as well. It's going to be a lot harder for him, as he is a weakling. And here in the lab we can see a few things have changed. We got in the purple navette, sapphire navette, sapphire pyramide, sapphire rumble, pyrite rumble, sapphire rhinestone, and the purple rumble. And of course the favorite of everyone, black diamond rhinestone, emerald ultherite, and black diamond ultherite. Has this changed a bit? I feel like it didn't go this far behind. It used to stop like here before. Now we can go all the way this way. And wasn't this like here before? I'm not sure. But this is better now, you can at least grab these guys. Still can't really grab these guys without going out of your way. And that's it for Pilbo. Swing Block already had a level 50 weapon. He also made his way to Onkin. Other than that, not much. Bookstaff, he got the bunny ears and the level 50 weapon. Scene Hunt, he got the level 50 weapon and a new hat. The Cowboy Galloneer. Yes, because it looks cool. I want to give everyone a unique hat, so they are easier to teleport in the lab. You can see here everyone have a unique hat right now. I want to change out the platinum helmet as well. It's a bit too standard. Bubble Thumper, of course. Crow's Nest. Got a jar. Laboratory Scrubs. Mr. Baba Papa. Level 50 weapon. He got the Neutron Ice Rings. I only ever got two of those. And this guy is just doing the quest here while he's... He has done it. But for now he can grind the demon genies a bit more. Otherwise he's the same as everyone else. And the secret class has stopped his fishing and now a full time bug catcher. He crafted the dimension net before he could equip it. He only had level 25 in bug catching. So he stole the platinum net from the main catcher. He has yet to return it but he will do that one day I'm sure. And that's it for all the characters except pick an axe. So pick an axe and made his way to the clammies. This zone right here, the shelled shores. One, two, three zones left and then there's the boss. 500,000 something. You can see a five and a six. He's taking quite a lot of damage but he can kill them pretty quickly. So this is the guy I'm mostly running around with. The menu is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven diamond plates working on the garlic bread right now. We have five Richard and Kitchen. Can't afford the five voids yet. I have two. I have the tickets to grind to five, but not really worth it. And here in the breeding, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wood boards breeding like crazy. One in 165. We have six more to unlock in world one. Then we will continue with world two. We unlock this one, Blooming Axe. I don't have this food to actually activate it yet, but uh, Forge Pets contribute a fraction of the Forge Speed towards Fight Power. Now you no longer need at least one Fighting Pet. You can see here I have a Fighter Pet that contributes nothing to the Spice Gain. Once I get that food, I no longer have to keep a Fighter around here, which will increase the Spice Gain, as you can imagine. This is the current construction. We have maxed three items. Trying to upgrade the towers a bit now. I guess I should upgrade the boulder roll again. I ran out of iron bars. Pretty cheap item to run out of. Actually, we have maxed four items. One, two, three, and four. And this has changed quite a bit. We are only printing cogs with three people now. The rest are on the board. You can see they gain thousands of flaggy and tons of build rate. Compare that to the cogs, only giving a few hundred. So I will return to XP Cogs everywhere now. These zero XP Cogs are flaggy, but I rather level up my people again than get in a few hundred flag rate. I realized something recently. This speed to flags only affects the flags themselves. I had a bunch of speed to flags here. I thought it was flaggy rate. Same thing, but different name, you know. But no, flag rate affects the people. Speed to flags affects the flag. You can see 30 million, 12.4 million. Other than that, it's going pretty good. This is the current refinery, 14, 10, 6. 
541. 3D printing, pretty decent, but nothing special. 69 out of 75. Almost have a new book from the VIP stuff and the salt lick. These are the current kills. Well, I'm not going to read them, but you can see I have two purple in world one, four purple in world two, and two purple in world three. And a gray skull. Yeah, we need to go back and uh, finish this up. And here is, well, it's a bit whatever. We have started. Obols, the same as always. Full weapon power. Drop chance may be better, but oh well. We have already started with weapon power. Total boxes earned 1,138 secrets and in the alchemy we have unlocked all of them in the orange cauldron missing three in the green missing one in the purple and missing one in the yellow so i put three guys in the green one we get 400,000 per hour compared to like 54 and 71 and the sigils are rolling on we are at the two stars i'm doing max team here i guess you could unlock these guys pretty easily for some extra strength and Agi, even wisdom, then getting pretty expensive here. The vials, we have almost all of them now. Missing one here. And missing a few here. We even got the ball pickle jar. His gear is the same as always, of course. Well, he did get a slash skull. It's the Easter event right now. I'm not complaining about that. Getting tons of candy. Almost 1,000 uh, one hour candy. Funny thing is, I got a second due to phone here. I got it from a golden egg, one of these, but gold that spawns a boss. And if you are not holding a due to phone, you will get a new due to phone. Hopefully, a lot of people that don't have the due to phone yet will get one in this event. We are level 174 right now, leveling up pretty quickly, getting 147 million XP per hour. Not bad. And yeah, I think that's it. The other characters got to play around a bit in World 4, do an onking quest. Once everyone has done that, I may take them out again for another zone or two. We shall see. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.